The story begins a few months back when I was randomly watching some YouTube videos and this video came into my feed. After watching this video, I felt like uh, the content of this video was pretty cool and the project was very cool. So I thought, why can't I try to make that particular project in JavaScript? My initial plan was just like Lewis had mentioned in, the, in his video, there would be a background video and there would be the a Reddit thread uh, that provides the text. That text is being read out by some kind of text-to-speech speech engine that produces the audio and we could stitch all of this together using some JavaScript node module to edit this video together and make it into a single file. So I began with the first step that is uh, get the content from the Reddit and format it into a JSON format so that we can consume it easily in our application. That part was pretty much straightforward as the Reddit APIs were available and we could just authenticate the endpoints using the Reddit uh, API key and I could use that to get the Reddit content. The second step was to convert this text to speech. Here I faced some difficulties because most of the good text-to-speech engines are paid or at least required some form of credit card to get the free trial. So I thought of using uh, free options if, if there are any available. So I found a few NPM packages that I could use, but they used uh, Google Translate under the hood to convert the text to speech. So there was a character limit linked to that particular method of converting text to speech and it was not very natural. But since the, it was the only option available uh, for free, I thought of going with that option. At this point, I felt like before I go and take screenshots of Reddit pages, I should first try to stitch and make a video from the text and the audio itself with a simple background video. So now comes step three, where I can co combine a text and an audio to make a video file. Till this point, every code that, uh, that was written in this project was uh, written as a part of a, a Node Express application. But when I tried to fi find a node package uh, that, uh, that could edit videos, I was, uh, it was pretty, pretty difficult to find a good option there. After searching for a while, uh, I dropped the perspective of thinking from Node Express application and just uh, randomly tried to find a JavaScript framework or, or a library as a whole instead of a Node Express application. And that's when I found Remotion. So Remotion is a tool that helps you cre create uh, videos using React. It uses Node and uh, Puppeteer under the hood to render videos and it is an awesome tool. Now, since I already had a Node Express application that uh, f uh, gets the content from Reddit and formats it, so I exposed that function into an API and set it up as a separate service. So in the Remotion application, I uh, tried to uh, get data from that particular endpoint uh, which is formatted Reddit content and consume that content in the Remotion application. So I created a component inside uh, Remotion which is just like uh, creating a Re uh, React component and centered it in the screen and just uh, basically display the text that was coming from the API. Now for the audio files, the initial uh, package that we had used uh, produces audio files that is mp3 files since i was thinking about making the video inside a node application itself that would not have been a problem but when it comes to separate services transferring file from one service to uh, another service especially if there are lots of files it can become a hectic task so i got underneath the node uh, G, uh, gtts npm package and took the implementation and instead of saving into, saving into a file i converted it into a base64 string so in this way uh, the Remotion application to, uh, could get the uh, Base64 uh, audio strings. So the benefit of getting the uh, Base64 string was that Remotion had utility function that could uh, take Base64 string and return the duration that uh, particular audio would play. That helped me to dynamically set the audio length and the composition length for the video. Once I had set the uh, composition length, I, I then created a sequence. So if you can, if you go to the Remotion docs, you can uh, follow along uh, pretty easily. The documentation is very good. Basically, I created a sequence and stitched the uh, video and the audio together. I used the series sequence so because we want to start when, when a video ends. So it's uh, it continues in a series uh, manner. I even added a back background video from Unsplash. Now everything was set so I rendered this video. On rendering the video I found out that it was a complete mess. The first issue was uh, due to background flickering. So the background video was uh, f flickering um, when the when I tried to replay the video. This was because uh, Remotion uses uh, multiple cores of CPUs for rendering the video and since all of these tasks were happening in parallel uh, it was uh, kind of hard to keep track of the frame rate. So uh, the background video kind of flickered throughout. 
Uh, this could be fixed by uh, setting the concurrency to one, which is like saying that you use only one CPU core so that it sequentially uh, renders the video, but it would take uh, significantly long time. So I didn't try to optimize it for now. Uh, I just left it as such. The second issue was that uh, the component was being rendered again and again because of CPU cores uh, trying to run a Puppeteer and Node uh, parallelly. So there were uh, multiple content that were uh, trying to be rendered at the same time. The major issue was that it was consuming from an endpoint and the endpoint was producing different content every time the endpoint was invoked. So I reached out to the uh, Remotion Dis Discord server. There are a lot of resources and uh, people there are super helpful. So if you uh, if you are trying out Remotion, you should uh, you should probably check out the Discord server. There I posted this issue. There a fellow Remotion developer, Marcus, suggested that I should uh, save the file as a JSON and consume the content from there instead of trying to get the API. So I made the change to read the data from the JSON file uh, I was already uh, trying to use local storage, but it was not working as I expected. So I used the JSON file and I configured it. Uh, and when I tried to render it, and that worked pretty well. This is a sample uh, video that I generated. What is something you used to love doing as a kid, but no one does it anymore? Throwing rocks off overpasses, play split screen multiplayer games, stargazing there are still a lot of issues that needs to be fixed in this uh, project right now getting the data from the uh, reddit needs to be uh, moved into the remotion application so, so that uh, it's standalone and there need, uh, there need not be a uh, another service that needs to be sp uh, spun up every time uh, the second is changes for the background video while using the different cpu cores to speed up the process third would be to use a proper uh, text to speech engine like uh, google uh, text to speech or uh, some other tool fourth will be to uh, deploy the uh, the remotion application as a standalone uh, automated system which like triggers automatically and creates a video and post uh, content to instagram or youtube uh, dynamically and without any third party or human intervention there are a lot of things to be done uh, and if you feel like you you can contribute to the project the source code for the remotion project is available uh, in, in my github repo uh, and the repo link is available in the description you can check that out hope this video was useful in some way or the other uh, thank you for watching and see you guys in the next one